guys. Skills and his manager. Osagi, they're in jail. They're in jail. What am I gonna do? Did they do it? Did they not do it? Did they do it not? I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to hear, but welcome to Akabans. Hey, my dear people, it's already 2 a.m. in the morning, but I said if I don't talk about this thing, it will not be justice. I mean, I have to talk about it. I have to, you know, dissect this issue. Okay, first things first, let me go straight into it because I know you people have heard this story and you've read about it, but I just want to give my opinions and that's what Akabats is about. Welcome to Akabats, anyways. Okay, so guys, um, basically, um, the record label, Baseline Records, sent out a robust report that Scales and Osage are involved in fraud and that they've been stealing monies up to the tune of 13 million naira from the record label. Everybody was like, ah, ah, how now? Why? And we all know where Scales came from. Like, you know, he had a break when he got into baseline. Like, before uh, that, he had been with EME and um, he was basically the underdog. Like, you know, he just never made that blue song until he did that song. Dun, 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 dun. Shake body, dig, 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 dig. that song was a tune, but it was amazing, you know. And that was when he got into baseline. And then we all rejoiced with him, and we we're all happy with him. I'm sure you guys too were happy with him. In you know? and he had, uh, he, we did the car dedication, we drank Fanta. <laughs> Everybody drank Fanta in the house for him. You know, he took the car, you know, a brand new SUV, I think it was a Ford, it's a Ford, took it to Tim Maya's house to show his. You know, he's a very baba, and then you know, they put him in a place, set him up with a place at Lekki, and everybody was, you know, grateful that ah man, thank god, skills on has happened for him, you know, because I mean, this kid from EME was just like, <laughs> anyways. So, um, so you know, the first thing we think about, or the th first thought is why, why, why would you know he do this? Why, what, what incentive will. Um, skills have to turn his back on baseline like this you know and um, but when but well as far as I thought like you know I was like this is possible it's possible like anything is possible in this Nigeria you know I mean if if Tiwa told us that you know T Bills her husband was as a manager stealing monies from her and the record people like Osagi can do this plus because it's easy it's easy to do it's not hard thing actually the Record label said that they actually set her up, you know, they used somebody to front to send her money and she didn't remit money to the account of the record label. In fact, it's in the contract that they set up a, a, an account for all monies to be remitted to, to be put inside her account so that, you know, they will properly know what is coming in and what is going out. But after a while, they didn't, they stopped sending. And he'll be going for shows, going for shows, or Sagi will say that he wait, it was free show. They continued now, nah? so that's when they now did that act to catch her red-handed barber. Anyways, we moved on from that, and then next thing we see, Scales' girlfriend said, uh, and then she puts up a story on. The, well, she tweets, and then you know we see the blogs carry them out, and this is what uh, Scales' girlfriend said, and I believe Scales was behind her telling her what to write. You're like, hey, write this one, you know, and this is what she said. Baseline Records hasn't done sh for my boy in years. For the boy in years, everything has been from his pocket. Videos, promotion and everything. You want to report you didn't show what you didn't show. You invested and got your money back. You want more Nigerians that... You want more. You want more Nigerians that don't know their rights. The heart of a king is in the heart of God. My Mr. Powerful slash influential, I will show you... I will hand you over to my God. Sorry about that. A record label with no clue about music or business structure plan. Thank you, Jesus, from the beginning of this journey. It's been all you. Things could have been worse. You calmed it all. Scales is fine and wasn't detained. Thanks. When God wants to take you to higher grounds, he will clear all the rubbish around you. I'm just like, wow, 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 wow. You know, I'm just like, you know, now this is from the artist saying that the record label didn't, you know, wasn't involved in him, in him making new videos and music and, you know, uh, promotion and everything and you see this is why I just feel like Nigerian artists need to be more aware that for some for record labels especially ones that have like you know 
dubious intents. It's all a business for them. They don't care about your soul or the, the or your talent, which I feel it it cannot be quantified. You know, and you have to be careful about what you do and what you sign up for. You know that no no no. Let's check a little bit now. They are saying that you know they are being duped. Scales too is saying that he's being duped. But you see, there's been a contract, and I feel like Scales. If you felt like you know um, they were not you know uh, being they were not it wasn't favorable to you and they were not doing their own part of the deal there are smarter and better ways for you to have opted out instead of using now going anyhow to use your own money to fund yourself and do your project and then decide on i mean you you, you meant to be wiser that people will always want what they don't have even if you're right like there are ways smarter ways to do it i mean in your contract there should be you know there should be allowances for breach of contract like if the record label does not do what they say they will do then you have the right to do so so and so to walk out or to take them to court or solve it arbitrarily or something like period but i feel like there were smarter and better procedures to take out whatever actions you were going to take instead of just waking up one minute and saying you know what record label is not working i'm going to pay for this i'm going to pay for that they will hold you because you have a contract you know, and you guys have to read this contract. So every artist that is listening to this upcoming artist, read your contract well. When they give you terms and conditions, you to give your own terms and conditions. And you should always look at that clause. How can I leave the deal if I'm not comfortable? Period. I feel well, moving on to Osagi, who most of the fingers were pointing at. Uh, we saw the story again, you know. And she came up with her own side of the story and she's like first of all she's like you know that for over a year they've been recording music they've been releasing music they've been shooting videos they've been pushing PR doing a uh, engagement without any input from the record label and you know that um, they were however surprised by May 2016 when the label suddenly became interested again in financial and engagement of the details of scaled career and you know but because she's not saying that, but because of the kind of contract they had, they now agreed to be having meetings and be trying to solve the issue with Baseline Records. It was in one of those meetings that Baseline now brought police to carry them. So what she now said is that, you know, there has been all forms of miscommunication and then the media has carried all stuff. But you know, <clears throat> there has never been and will never be any basis to conclude that she has been dubious or fraudulent in any dealings with the label. Now she now said that she was made to sign an undertaking that she will no longer represent Skills and Aramide. Aramide is the other artist under Baseline. And she's saying that a refund will be made to Baseline, which is fine by her. She's now saying that her accounts are being investigated, which is fine. And she hopes that all this passes away and they can move on with their in individual lives. Osagi no be picking. She didn't start this work today. She has been managed as a whiskey, uh, whiskey's manager before. And this woman also. You can't tell me that Osagi put her blood into skills or Ram and Aramide. Put her effort, her time, her money on their pocket, on her pocket. And then after all this, baseline will now come and say, that she should sign on that taking that she's no more their manager giving them up and then paying money back to them refunding they should be agree when she's when she's innocent i go school there's nobody that can take it you will drag it you will fight it you will not allow it do you understand what i'm saying so i feel like there's something fishy plus i feel like osagi says that you know um, the record label says that every time they asked Osagi, you know, about sending money from the performances over a period of a year, over the for the performances that Skills went for or was doing, you know, making and the appearances and everything, she would say that uh, it's free. That's it was a free performance. So if you believe that you were in the right and you wanted the record label to be, you know, provide and you feel like the record label was not you know, supplying financial support for his career and you were in the right, then you shouldn't have lied. You shouldn't have said, no, it was free. You tell them there was money paid, but you don't deserve it. So that we all know that is a bloody war. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? 
so that's what i feel you know and i feel like i don't know how involved skills was in this i don't know how you don't know he was about it but you know the the company the the baseline people are also saying that okay but telecoms company paid you you didn't give money to us why so are you going to not pay she's going to pay all this that's what she's saying that she'll pay all this money is back and she's fine with it but god is her judge or her witness it is well low I me mean, i don't have much to say about it i'm just like you know what everybody should just be careful with the kind of with with dealings with people it's not easy like there should be structures in place and what she's also trying to say is that this baseline records has no structure they, they had no plan it was just somebody that said i have money and let me throw an artist and then i will get all my money back from that artist that's not how it works there has to be a plan there has to be a structure there has to be a systematic way a process of it's a business you know of running this and that's why i give kudos to ybnl and mavens it work it works especially waving records it works you understand what i'm saying so it's not a joke that we're joking here um i just want to tell every artist young artist old artist watching this be careful of what you sign and then be smarter in your dealings with people there are better and smarter ways and legal ways to carry out your even after signing there are smarter ways to do things anyways moving on so guys giveaway yay so i'm doing my first giveaway on akabans thank you so guys so much for the support for all the love for everything that you've done and for you know letting the world <laughs> for sharing you know my opinions with the world and everything thanks to all the blogs and all my subscribers we've moved from zero subscriber to almost 5,000 subscribers in less than eight months that's just you that's just god that's just I'm blessed and I'm honored. So thank you to Fig Health Store for giving us, uh, you know, this. And so they're giving you um, the winner of this: one figs oats and quinoa flour, one figs pure black soap, pure black soap. I like it. And then pumice stone. This one use and scrub your leg if you have so you can wear slippers to beach. You understand? And then I'm adding a box of four cupcakes from Hanson Renee and um you're going to go to my instagram page and check out the picture campaign for the giveaway and following it, the instructions okay so you have to be following me you have to be following fig health store you have to be subscribed on youtube on this channel you have to answer a question you know and then repost the pictures with hashtags so the question for the giveaway is in what episode of akabans did i mention weko quarters and when was it established so you have to answer that question under the campaign the giveaway campaign pictures on my instagram page and follow the rest of the instructions read it very well and follow it and i'm gonna choose the person right there on instagram and i now see on it on on um youtube okay guys i love you peace out bye